Tonight we continue a KXAN in-depth report. Any parent will tell you there is nothing worse than the death of a child, especially if that death could have been prevented. We told you tonight at 5 and 6 how federal and state lawmakers are trying to make it easier for terminally ill patients, including children, to get experimental medications. And we introduced you to Zach Gio, who battled leukemia for more than half of his young life. Sometimes trying experimental therapies and medication, even his rejection for compassionate use of a drug his doctors believed would help him. These are issues we have been investigating for more than a year when we went to Washington, D.C. to talk to lawmakers about reforming the system. And we visited a lab in Georgetown, the Texas Life Sciences Collaboration Center, where they're developing experimental medications. They're caught in the middle of the compassionate use battle. Now the head of MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston is weighing in on the need for reform. And what we need to do is we need to bring together the government so they can write the right laws, the pharmaceutical industries so who are developing the drugs to be able to facilitate access to the drugs, patients and families as well as academic institutions who are doing clinical trials so that we can provide access to patients with life-threatening disease as soon as possible and at the same time preserve the testing of new drugs so that many patients in the future will have the opportunity to gain access to those drugs and have it become the standard of care. Soon to be proposed, federal and state laws are trying to take the FDA out of the compassionate use process. Online right now, you will find more about that legislation aimed at reforming the compassionate use system.